Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Sunday Spinning Sunday. I'm Mauricio. I'm Ryan. I would say it's one of the most special videos to do because it's gonna be totally dedicated to one of our favorite persons in the world. We're gonna do an episode on Lana Del Rey. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. We couldn't be ex more excited because she just released a new album. <laughs> Some people say this is her fourth studio album, the new one. Some people say it's her third. So for me, honeymoon. It would be the third LP and the number one it would be Born to Die the most darkest and beautiful melodies you can find it has so much in it every song was catchy it was an album for the masses and you can see as her albums went on she started not giving a f about the masses she says it oh yeah <laughs> Gangsters from yeah, the streets, the bad boys, the bad boys of LA, mm -hmm. the West Coast. They know this dark side of the city, and she's just playing around, uh, getting high. Moving forward from Born to Die, we reached that second album, and we're talking about ultraviolence. Now the lyrics are different. The album is way darker. It's not there to please, yeah. but still has the pop. Uh, still has the pop, but it's a matured pop. So she started tasting like fame and how mm -hmm. to express her, I don't know, her artistic side. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna proceed to show you Honeymoon. We're gonna show you the album, the art, then we'll talk about each side. How about that? Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness, that's, that's too much love. You look attractive. Finally. All right. Yeah. Cool. Okay, uh, let's talk about this album cover. This is the original album cover. This is the actual first album cover I saw, thanks to Mauricio here. And once I saw the real album cover, I'm like, oh, no, this is Honeymoon. Yes. This is the album cover for Honeymoon and nothing else. This is an Urban Amphitheater special. Let's see what's inside. <sighs> this is the, uh, the booklet. Ooh. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful garden. I think she looks the most beautiful in this picture. I think it's my favorite picture as well. Wow. Oh, I didn't see you there. What am I doing? Oh, I'm just putting on my makeup. Yeah. And the back. Which is, which is upside down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the back. The rose garden right there. The track listing. That's a long album. The 13 full length songs with an interlude. Whoa! So consider that the album is slow, Plus the songs, there are many of them. You need to listen to it in the right time. Don't play this at your party that you want to get everyone pumped no, up to. No. This is an album that you just kind of want to throw on and chill out and just get high by the beach to. That's all <laughs> I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Eat it. Oh! Oh! Wow! Look at that, like, I, I'm looking at you, you're all red. So, on to side number one. Wow. <laughs> Feathers everywhere. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Yep. So, now we're gonna talk about the first side of the album. If you're wondering why we're wearing flamingos in our head, there's a good reason for that, and the only way to answer that question is if you listen to Lana Del Rey's new album, Honeymoon. <sighs> side A starts off with Honeymoon. This is the first song that was released, but it's a very grim song. You, you, you can tell this isn't a normal honeymoon. It's a dark honeymoon. This is a very dark honeymoon. Really slow pacing uh, melody. It gives you the idea of how the whole trip is gonna be. The video, it was, it looks like a homemade video from the 60s. Following honeymoon, we have music to watch boys to. Right away, it's an instant whoa. One of the, the most catchy songs. The song that is just I can have on endless loops just forever and just get lost in this trance. Starts off with the chorus. Yes. Hey, you don't know it's the chorus until the chorus hits. Then the first verse starts, wields you in with that. She teases you with every syllable. Pink flamingos. And then. One of our favorite songs right there. Let's yeah. just say that, and then Terrence Loves You, which it, it probably is the most beautiful song. Yeah. One of the reasons why Terrence Loves You is one of the best, there's actually a little sample of Space Oddity in it. When you hear the ground control to Major Tom, it's just like, well, 
the, the universe you explored, water on Mars, there was a moon eclipse, Lana singing about Bowie, I can die, I'm fine, I, I'm okay. Like how can we love Lana more? Well, just mention Bowie and uh, reference him and, uh, and even name the song Terrence Loves You, which Bowie's brother, Terry, probably that's what the, uh, the title is in reference to. I, 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 I gotta take this off. Catch ruining my hair. It's it. I don't have hair, so I'm gonna keep mine. Now we go with side B. Side B. In the side B, we have High by the Beach. It's probably one of the best music videos we've ever seen from Lana. It's just fantastic. It was the first song that we just had on repeat. It's very dreamy. Mm -hmm. This whole album's dreamy, yeah. but that song was the first indicator that, hey, this is gonna be a chill out album. This is probably the most upbeat song on the album, too. Now, in the side B, we also have two other songs, of course. We have Go Nose and Try. I'm not gonna be saying the same thing over and over for each song because for each song, I'm just gonna say it's great, it's fantastic, it's mellow, it's slow, and I love it. So, I'm just gonna. <laughs> that's basically my, my point of view of every single song in this album. And to finish this side, we have probably one of the best things we ever found in this album and it's Freak and it's like Lana the, describing herself personal anthem to California she, she pretty much is describing and telling us our fantasies right here in Freak yeah she, she's saying come on down to California feel like I do and dance to rock music and kiss while we do it you know what I don't want to work I just want to go to California get high by the beach and be a freak like you now the side C it just starts off with Art Deco. One of the most noticeable parts for me and like most hypnotizing part of the song is this It's just constant, never goes away, and it just it's so like dreamy. Once again, this whole album is very dreamy like we've stated. Then we have an interlude. I don't know, this whole concept of uh, time being present, past or future, is just speculation. There is only now. The interlude goes perfectly into the next song. Religion. Revolving around that same concept that I love, it's love for Lana. And following religion, we have Salvatore. She includes some uh, small phrases in Italian, like ciao amore, which means goodbye love. Ciao amore. Soft ice cream. Once again, I, I just want to get high by a beach, have her. Uh, I just want to get high by the beach and have soft ice cream. Okay, one more side. Oh! Starts off with Blackest Day, then goes into 24, Swan Song, and ends up with Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. On vinyl, side four is my most played side. As we said, LP1 has like all the singles, everything that we knew about it. LP2. I kind of left on my record player because it was all new music to me. And Blackest Day is just such a great song. I just wanted to keep playing that side because I'm just like, oh, Blackest Day, Blackest Day. And so I ended up listening to side four probably the most. My favorite has to be the last song of the album, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. You know, it's like, this is me and I hope people doesn't see it in their own way. But I'm not gonna change the way I am. So the only person she can ask for forgiveness is God. Everything that she was building from the first album, now she has it, now she's confused, she doesn't know what to do with it. But she's still that girl from the neighborhood in LA. It's a perfect way to wrap the album. It's almost like like the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust, but it was like the rise and fall of Lana and Ray. Born to Die, Ultraviolence, Honeymoon, Perfect Trilogy. We, we, we love you, Lana. We'll support you no matter where you go. This has been Sunday Spinning Sunday. I'm Ryan. I'm Mauricio. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Go grab Honeymoon. You won't regret it if you love mellow music. Ciao, amore. Wow. <laughs>